cutting 10 to 15 minutes off your nail service, that seems a little insane. We're gonna show you a few little tips and tricks and adjustments that you can make right now to cut 10 to 15 minutes off your service time and make more money right now on Nail School. I got a thirst for knowledge. Teach me something today. Quench my thirst. Quench my thirst. <laughs> I get asked a lot, or we actually we discuss a lot at the OWC time management. I'm going to show you some techniques that I did in salon to save you time so you can get as many clients in in a day as you want or take off early. What we're showing you here is two different baskets, and this is something I had in salon. I had a basket for acrylic and I had a basket for gel. And the reason I did that is I did not want to have to go searching each time I was doing something for my product. When a client came in and I knew they were an acrylic client, I would grab this basket. I had everything to do the service in this basket. I was good to go. Same thing with the gel. If I was a gel client, I grabbed this basket and I knew it had everything I needed in it. There's certain things that I use every single time on every single client. So I don't put them in the basket, I keep them on my desk. Things like swipe polish remover, rose oil. Those are always on my desk. Then you have things like implements that you have to sanitize. So I keep that in my disinfectant. I pull it out each time before a client comes in and I'm ready to go. Files, my files are put away in my drawer in a clean bin and they're thrown out after each service. So I'm gonna go over my acrylic basket. If you notice, it's very simple. All I have in my basket is my cover pink, my speed clear, and my speed white. Why is because 99% of the time when I do acrylic, these are the items that I'm gonna use. For instance, if I'm doing a natural overlay or if I'm going to put polish or gel polish over a nail, I'm still gonna use my cover pink. The reason why there are only three acrylic powders in my basket is because 99% of the time when I do acrylic, those are my go-to powders. For instance, if someone comes in and is going to do, let's say a polish or a gel polish and they want a full set, I'm still going to use Cover Pink. Now, a lot of times people will grab a natural powder or they'll grab a clear powder to do this because they're gonna put something over it. But what if that client decides they want a pink and white or they want pink and glitter? Then you're gonna have to take all that product down and then replace it. Now, since I only use Cover Pink as my base, it's not a problem. You want pink and white? Not a problem. I shave down the pink, I put the white in where it needs to be, I'm good to go. Again, 99% of the time, cover pink is my foundation color. Same thing with clear. Every time I do glitter, I know I have to cap it in clear. So I'm using that every time I do an art service. And of course, white is for my pink and whites. Now we're going to take a look at our gel basket. Again, we have a few more items in here because we have base that has to be our foundation every single time. We have white sculptor for our pink and whites. We have concealer pink, just like that cover pink with acrylic. That's always going to be my foundation layer, no matter what I'm doing. You have flex for mixing your glitter up. You have your clear sculptor for extensions. And then I have gloss. Now, gloss and finish are my go-to top gels. Finish for 99% of the people, gloss for hairdressers or people who stain their nails. So again, there's a few more items we use when we do a gel service, but it's exactly the same as acrylic. Those are my go-to items that I use 99% of the time. So if I have them in a basket, ready to go, client walks in, I pull it out, I put it on the desk, I do the service. As soon as I'm done with the service, I put everything back in the basket, I put it back in the drawer and clean my desk up. The number one thing I can say about being able to do multiple services in the salon as fast as possible is being on automatic pilot. You have certain steps that you have to do in every single service. But as techs, we tend to go back and we redo things, especially if we're moving a little too fast, we start to second guess ourselves. I want you to have all the steps lined out. For instance, when a customer comes in, I know I have to push back their cuticles, I have to prep their nails, protein bond, do the service, and then file them to shape. Now, if I start second guessing my steps, such as I'm prepping the nails and I think maybe I went a little too fast, so people will start 
re-prepping the nails or pushing back the cuticles again, it's a waste of time. Same thing when I go to file the nails after I've applied the product. I don't pick up a hand file, hand file, then pick up the electrophile, electrophile, and then pick up a hand file again. My steps are finish the service, pick up my electric file, pick up my hand file, done. Every time I do a step, do not second guess yourself, just move on. So a problem that I had when I first started out and where I saved a lot of time was prep. I would prep the nails for 15 to 30 minutes before I would start applying my product. Prep work should only take you about two to five minutes. Now that doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I know that if I prep thoroughly, I just need to move on. So I have that time budgeted. Two to five minutes is my prep. Once that's done, I move on. I don't second guess it. I don't go, well, maybe I need to keep on going. It's done, move on to application. Another really important area that I think techs can save time, and this, this can seem a little harsh, but clients are not allowed to waste your time. So when my clients would come in, they knew that they needed to know, as soon as they sat down, what type of service they wanted, what color they wanted. It wasn't 30 minutes of looking at the glitter wall, trying to figure out what they wanted, because that can take up a lot of time. Clients cannot dictate or take up a ton of time. And what happens is they sit down and they start second guessing themselves, right? Well, maybe I want purple or maybe I want pink, but if they know ahead of time, this is how I run my business. When you sit down, I need to know, do you want purple or do you want pink? They'll have it figured out by the time they come in. Unfortunately, sometimes we get worried about communicating these kind of things to our clients. We get like, oh, I don't, wanna, I don't want that tension. I don't wanna feel awkward. They might get upset. But it's all about communication. If you let them know this is how I run my business nicely, and because I run my business like this, I will be on time every time you come in, and that it's about them and their time saving, they'll be completely cool with it. So now you've communicated your rules to, to your customer. You've told them that they have to be on time, they have to know what they're getting, all these things so you can save time. But here's the important thing. You wanna go as fast as possible in salon, but you have to make your client feel special. So if you expect them to be on time, you have to be on time. You have to appreciate their time. So in salon, I didn't text, I didn't answer phones. My client was the number one most important person. If someone, another client came in, they weren't allowed to sit at my desk and talk with me while I'm working on the other client. They knew they had to wait in the lobby it wasn't a big deal because they knew the minute they sat down, they were gonna be the most important person. These are a few things that I implemented into my services or my day-to-day -day life. It's very disciplined, right? And at first it's gonna be a little awkward and a little daunting and it might be a little stressful. But the minute you have these techniques down and you're on automatic pilot, you're going to get done as fast as possible. It's gonna save you time. You're gonna to get to spend more time with your family and it will be less stressful.